my name is Adrienne Finch and welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday, an all new show where I give you guys a tip about tech every single Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We're doing it. So in today's video, I am going to tell you all about this app that actually has changed my life in terms of organization and just getting my whole life on track. Something that I had a huge issue with for so long was just how to really keep track of every little facet of my life. So I have my work stuff and then I have like freelance projects and I have, you know, my own personal stuff and errands and all everything. I just didn't have a good way to really track ongoing tasks, immediate tasks, everything. I really wanted a digital succinct way to organize everything and I finally found it. So in as short of a time as possible, I'm gonna show you guys this app. It's called Actions by Mole skin it has absolutely changed the game I seriously think you only need one app to keep track of your life and it is this one so let's get into it all right so it's called actions by moleskin this is what it looks like and essentially there are two interfaces that you can use you have cards so that is what all of these ones are which I use to basically delegate each aspect of my life onto one card with one color that's what all of these are then you also have the calendar and schedule view. So this is a list, a to-do list of actionable items color coded based on whatever color you chose for that aspect of your life. And they can give you alerts as to when you need to complete these things. So the reason that I love this again is that on a to-do list, I have everything I need to do on a given day. But what I wish I could also see is each of those individual tasks for a certain job. So let's say just YouTube tasks. On my to-do list, I have YouTube and errands and all this other stuff working out, but I wish I could just pull and have just my YouTube tasks like in a place. Well, now I can. So when you first open up your app and it shows the schedule view, what I like to do is go down to this bottom right hand corner and click on that little card button. And then from there, this is where you have all your cards. So let's just take YouTube for example. When you first make a new card, you pick a color. So I obviously chose red because I feel like it just is pretty fitting. And then once you want to add a new task, you would just hit a plus, edit tech tip Tuesday video. Right away, you can either just push this check mark, which makes it an item. And since I put Tuesday in the title, it's kind of annoying. It automatically schedules it for today, which is fine, but that's not what I was trying to do. If you want to schedule it for a certain day, you would click on it and then click on schedule. You can click today, tomorrow, this week, or choose a date. Let's say I just want it to be Friday. You can set a reminder. So let's say I want it to be on the day at 8 a.m. And then you push the down arrow, down arrow, and it's done. Now, when you complete a task, you just swipe to the right and it completes. And then it saves all of your completed tasks. So if you ever wanna look back, you can. So again, let's just make another one. And next to videos. Then you go like that. Then you click on it. You can schedule it today. Push the arrow. So then, since we made this for today, if you click on this bottom little button and then you click the X, here we see this for today. So that is part of my her Money Media, a freelance project I'm doing, that tab. And again, you would just swipe to the right if you complete it. And if you want to edit the time that you're placing it on, you would swipe it to the left halfway until this little clock comes up. And then it brings up this same thing. So let's say I change it to tomorrow. There it shows up for tomorrow. So let's just pretend as though we are making a new card just so I can show you. You would push this plus. Let's call it Workout Plan. We would choose a color. I do wish they had more color options, but what are you gonna do? Let's choose this gray. Then you would add arm day. And you can also just push the return button. Eat healthy, return. And it would just add a new one automatically. Anyway, you get it. And then you can just swipe between these. So that's basically what you do. I seriously think this app is so good. I really highly recommend. The only thing about it is, and this is not sponsored at all. The only thing about it is that it does cost $1.99 a month, I believe. So yes, it's $1.99 a month or $11.99 for a year, which you guys, it seriously is worth it. I, I honestly can tell you. You can also change the app icon, what it looks like. So I chose the black and white one but you can make it any of these colors which I think is really cool maybe I'll make mine yellow so that's the app I hope you guys try to use it I really love it and I just wanted to share this tech tip with you because it has made my life so much easier and by the way it's not to say that you wouldn't still use your calendar or your paper to-do list or your ongoing tasks list but for me like something I do have is an ongoing tasks list that's like for longer term projects or things that I need to remember to do but like not right now it's not like an immediate priority but if you want, you can literally make an ongoing tasks 
card here. And then you can just kind of have it there so that you know it's down somewhere organized so that you don't forget. You also don't have to schedule these. Like if you don't want to schedule them on a certain day, you would just leave it with unscheduled. And that way it's just like there and you can always like look back. What do I have to do for this thing? Because for me again, with all these different projects, it's hard to keep track. That's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like my first ever episode of Tech Tuesday. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want. And let me know if you try out this app and what you think. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Bye.